Hello. And welcome to the first behind the scenes look at Sydney the Song Cat. My name is Nathan Little. I'm the creator of Sydney the Song Cat. And ever since I have started posting uh, videos of Sydney on Instagram and on TikTok, I have had so many requests from people to see behind the scenes of the animation that I do, to see the character and the rig and how I've set it up to get the animation that I get. And I'd like to do that today. I think this is the time and place to do that. It's going to be really simple today, just a quick tour of the character itself and how the different pieces are set up in order to get the animation I do. I am happy to field other questions or to do future videos about different things, whether it's blinks or, or lip sync or, or movement or singing or any of that kind of stuff, please leave a comment below and I will take a look at them and use those comments to prompt my future videos. So without delay, let us look more closely, just kidding, not that close, at Sydney the Song Cat and some of the some of the features for animation. So, starting with the face, I've broken up this character so that I can move most of the elements of the face. Now, this was a singing cat. I knew it was going to be about singing songs, so particularly I wanted lots of ability within the face to move around. So you can see the pupils are, I can move them around, scale them down, um, you can see way under here. Interesting, I don't use lids, like the eyelids, on Sydney very much. Uh, but those are there, and, you know, when just the right moment comes for some eyelids, I'll throw that in. Uh, the brows, the ears, you can see all these are just pieces that I have to kind of track and move together whenever I'm animating. Now, within some of these, draw within some of these uh, elements are new drawings. So, for example, in the eye here, if I, if I move forward, I can see the next drawing is a closed drawing. Same with the mouth. Obviously, I needed several shapes to be able to get Sydney to sing. And so you can see all of those shapes here, uh, where the, the teeth are somewhere. Here's the teeth. Pull that over. So when I have this shape, you can see that there. Now, I, I usually just move through these drawings when I'm doing lip sync with a cat, but I do have the ability to kind of stretch and squash them if I can't get quite the shape that is needed. So that's an example of moving through drawings. There is another way that I, I get the movement that I do, and that's using deformers. And so in, in Toon Boom, the program that I use, you have the ability to add a deformer to a drawing, and this means that I can really manipulate the drawing in weird ways without having to redraw it. So for the lip sync, I, I can't. I showed you how much I could squash and stretch it. To get a different shape, I really needed to do a new drawing, which is what you see me going through here now. But for the whiskers, I never need new drawings. I just be, need them to be able to, you know, flow and drag and snap with the character as it moves, and so that's why I've I've done a deformer with that. Very similarly, on the arms, you can see I've used deformers as well. So I can get all of the movement that I need from these arms just by using these deformers. The one difference is here at the paws, I do have, oops, there we go, a front facing and a back facing paw. And I usually just flip pretty crudely between them when needed. Also, on the tail, we've got the same thing. I never need to new do, do new drawings of the tail. All I need to do is use this deformer and I can have it flicking around as I need. It's not perfect, you know, you can see how the tail is turning in on itself. So I, I do have to be careful a little bit as I animate, but um, it gives me the, the pretty much the amount of movement that I need. Same as the body. There we go. There's a dance right there for you. Just move this back and forth. Um, it is on a deformer, so I have one drawing of the body for this, you know, behind the table kind of look, and I can move it around and get what I need with that deformer. Um, I've also grouped elements of my drawings together, so you can see with the eyes here, I can squash and stretch one eye, 
both eyes. Or I can move right up and grab the whole face and move that around. So often in my animations, you'll see this kind of thing, head shakes, yep, head nods as well too. And being able to grab all of those features really helps to, to do that quickly. Obviously, I have to move some of these side features as well too as I, as I move the, the whole face around to help really sell that he's looking from one side to the other. But I can grab the whole body as well too. And there you go. There's another dance right there. I have not done this one with Sydney yet, but, you know, maybe I'll find just the right moment for that exact movement. Uh, but that is the, the quick tour of the animation rig for Sydney the Song Cat that that I have built and use in most of my videos. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, please leave a comment below if there's something else you'd like to see. Thank you for all the love and support for Sydney the Song Cat. It's so much fun, and I hope I get to keep doing this and have you all along for the ride. Thank you so much.